Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So on the 31st of December next month, as we have been talking about, Microsoft is ending support for the Marlin Calendar app and replacing it with the new Outlook by default. And what will happen is Marlin Calendar will just stop sending and receiving emails. Although the app will still be there, it won't just disappear. Um, it will use that send and receive functionality which obviously um, makes it a little bit useless to some degree or the other. And in regards to this, I ran a poll a couple of days ago that Microsoft thinks you should be on the new Outlook and not Mail in Calendar because it has advantages over the Mail in Calendar app. And there's the video link, and I'll leave this video linked down below in the end screen. And I asked the question, do you agree? Now, 26% of you said no, which was the second highest. Yes, already on New Outlook, which was the third ranked. And the highest was don't use Mail in Calendar. And I actually found that quite surprising. Um, due to all the comments I see and the reports online, I thought a lot more people would be on Mail in Calendar. And 13% say will move or have moved to another email client. Now, in regards to this and the so-called advantages or the functionality that's missing, in the new Outlook for Windows. Microsoft has announced a new feature that's going to be rolling out next year in February 2020, uh, 2025 for the new Outlook and also Outlook on the web because the two are very similar at the heart and core of things where you'll be able to move your emails between accounts in the new Outlook for Windows because as you may well know in the um, new Outlook for Windows as I've posted on previously you can add another account. You don't have to just use a Microsoft account. So what's going to happen is according to the Microsoft 365 roadmap where Microsoft announced this, they say that um, the feature will make it easier to manage emails across multiple accounts. So all personal accounts in the new Outlook for Windows can move emails between all their personal accounts, streamlining organization and productivity. And if you are a work or school user, this feature is controlled by a policy managed by administrators, which is another different story altogether. So I'm putting it out there because I think this is a nice move. Being able to move your emails between accounts in the new Outlook for Windows and also on the web, I think this will bring a little bit of extra functionality into the app. And obviously, we've still got a couple of months to go. This, the rollout start is only in February. Um, obviously, that will be controlled throughout the course of February. And once again, if I get wind of that, I'll try and keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.